Good morning. So, how much water do I need to drink per day is the question I had the other day. It's actually one of the habits that we're going for and, and chatting about because often you hear two litres of water a day, but there's actually very little research, if you like, or evidence of two litres. Why? Well, just like everything in nutrition, it's quite complex because like of your height, right? You could tell, is, does two litres apply to someone like a six foot male than a five foot female? It's obviously gonna be very different. Some people are more active than others, so they're gonna need more. If you eat more fiber, you might need more because fiber will absorb the water, so you might have digestive issues if you don't drink enough water. Then you've got skin, um, digestion, like I said, you've got hunger, potentially. Not necessarily that, that water impacts hunger, but more so, it might keep you a little bit full short term or just delay eating more, right? If you take, if you have a drink of water, you might have, a, you have more uh, volume in your stomach, which might keep you full, full up. So how much do you drink? Well, two liters of water wouldn't probably go wrong for most people, it's, it's not bad. Um, but another way of looking at it is free, free clear wheeze a day, wean clear by noon, cloudy like lemonade. Um, but also, what to include in that is another question I get, like, is sugar-free squash okay? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, are herbal teas okay? Yes, that's absolutely fine as well. And oh, I'm, I'm bringing this up now as well because it's something you can do even with meals out, eating out. And you know, December's a funny month. People just think, oh, I start in January, but you can start these things now. You can increase your fluid intake now and you can start to feel better now. You get more energy, headaches. Like I said, you can reduce your risk of headaches with that. Um, digestive issues. So that's a powerful thing. And if you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, like, oh yeah, it's too much on this month. Well, why not nail that habit? So in January, that's one less habit that you have to have to do, that I have to really put in effort to do, because that's how they'll become a habit. You do them when you're not really thinking about it. It's like um, the other day when I was speaking to someone, and they were like, "Yeah, like when do you? How do you remember to drink water?" And I go, "I drink water every time I wake up. Every time I wake up, sometimes twice a day, three times a day if I have a nap." Um, I drink water when I wake up and also when I have a hot drink so that it's partnering together. And it's such a habit, I feel like it's normal, but someone might go, oh, I thought you were having a coffee, Matt. And I'll say, I am. And they'll be like, well, you're having a glass of water. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm having my water with my coffee. To me, it's totally normal now because I've done it so many times and that's what happens when you have a habit. And know that you don't have to do everything now. It's December, you might feel like, yeah, I can't do it all now, I'll just start in January. But you can always do one thing. You can always do one thing with that. Think about like the 10 minutes, if you had 10 minutes, three days a week, what would you do with that 10 minutes? Just to improve your, increase your energy, make life a little bit easier. And we know that that, that will help with that. It's one simple thing that we can add today. So I hope that helps. And because there is often a lot of confusion with water, two liters, three liters, how many glasses, but, um, and, and of course you probably can drink too much as well. Um, you would do very well. Um, but it can happen if you are um, deficient in um, electrolytes. Um, and just a quick one on like coffees and teas, they'll still hydrate you. Hey Michelle, they'll still hydrate you, more so than they'll dehydrate you. You would, if you thought that coffee would dehydrate you, you would be more hydrated still. However, obviously too much caffeine, you're weeing out more. If you're then having espresso, especially, you're weeing out more um, and not really replacing that fluid. So. Try and get as much water in as you can. Sugar-free squash, like I said, is absolutely fine as well. So, herbal teas, just always think of the alternative. Of course, water's better. But when you look at some of the research and you're like, wow, people, there's one study that showed people who had diet drinks, like sugar-free, got better results than people who had water because they felt like they weren't missing out. But that doesn't mean you should do that. Always remember what's the alternative. Take care.